Good morning and welcome for welcome to Hope of the Family with Evangelist Moya Junior Eden. My connection is weak this morning. That's what is distracting me right now. But I thank God for his faithfulness that we will be able to carry through. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for his faithfulness to us also, keeping us alive to see this beautiful day. He is God. He has no God as in. We thank him that we are amongst the living and we have hope. Good morning again and welcome to Open the Family with Evangelist Moya Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for his faithfulness, for his love to us. We thank him that he is God helping us in all our, of, our, of our situations here on earth. We bless him for his Holy Spirit leading us on the path for which we must walk on. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is like God? He is God alone. There is no God as him. Has he not spoken concerning us? He has spoken and his word will be fulfilled in our lives here on earth as it is in heaven. You do not return to him empty because every word that God has spoken concerning us uh, is actually life and spirit. And it must accomplish the purpose for which God has sent him forth in Jesus' mighty name. We thank God that we can speak life and spirit today into our situations, into our families, into our government and the body of Christ. Glory be to God. We can overturn every walk of darkness and establish the full counsel of God concerning us and our families here on earth in Jesus' mighty name. He is our God. He has blessed us. We have every reason to rejoice today. Glory be to God. Today we remember Martin Luther King Jr. We bless God for his life. We thank God for his ministry. We thank God for the way he motivated people to stand on righteous ground. We thank God that, that he was a man of justice. We bless God today as we remember him. We pray that the legacy he left behind, that people will, we will uphold it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That truth, righteousness, and love for humanity we direct the course of human affairs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the spirit of discrimination, hatred, bitterness, smiles, evil things in the hearts of men against one another will be uprooted by the power of the living God. We pray that he did not die in vain. Glory be to God for everything that God did through his ministry here on earth. Glory be to God for the family he left behind. Glory be to God for the church he left behind. Glory be to God that the church is continuing to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That things uh, continue to improve in our communities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the spirit of fear and discrimination not come against the children of God in the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That no evil pronouncement will stand against God's children in the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the true love of God will be in our hearts for our brothers and sisters. We do not know God if we cannot love our brothers and sisters that we see every day. It is not about us, it's not about our salvation alone, but about God's children around the world. All of God's children. We must show the love of God, uh, the love of God to his children. We must be channels of God's peace wherever we go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are put strong goods, everything standing in the way against God's children today, preventing the nations of the world from moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We put down strongholds standing against the church of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pull down every evil pronouncement against the church, against our families, against our nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, pray in our midst. You be exalted amongst the children today. You are God. Our hands are lifted up to you in praise. We worship you. We bow down before you today. Have your way in our lives. Oh Lord God, thank you for everything you do in us and through us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you that the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking on our behalf today. Speaking better things than the blood of Abel. Thank you, Jehovah God, that we prevail against every force of darkness, communion gods, as old gods, with of wickedness and witchcraft, pronouncement from the pit of hell against your children. We renounce in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull down every struggle wherever it's coming from, in our families, in our communities, from any quarter. Oh, Rehebus Center, Hamas Shender, Hebus Center. We pull down by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. We present to you our Father this morning, United Nations, the United Nations, Father Lord, we have the fear of you, the leaders, Father Lord, of nations, we have the fear of you in their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn their hearts to you, to over God. Use them the way you want to use them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pull down any King Pharaoh or you know, anyone with, with the spirit of, of King Herod that will stand against your righteous judgment in the nations of the world. Pull them down, check their foundation down in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail in the nations of our God in the name of Jesus Christ. We hold back the hands bringing a rod of affliction against the children in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against Adam, the voice speaking contrary to the way into the church of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against fear 
stand up from any angle today, from any quarters, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the government of the nations we acknowledge that you are God and that there are men, men, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Men and women that you all are accountable for their deeds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the government will not begin to issue our policies and decrees and ordinances to hold back your kingdom work here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We uproot everything standing in the way, mountain, boom, that be that cast into the ocean in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against high places for by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. That the children of God will move forward doing the will of God here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are our God. We bless you. We, bless, we thank you as we present the church of Christ to you today. We pray for unity within the church of Christ. We pray for that the church will speak in one voice. Father, expose those that have betrayed the church of Christ in the various nations of the world because of greed, because of position. They have gone against the church, against the children, Jehovah God. They have embraced that which has brought affliction upon the church. Jehovah Rehim is sent to have a shelter. Shake down their foundation. Let them be forged from their position of leadership in the name of Jesus Christ. That your children, we arise on the position of leadership. Those that will not compromise with the world that will speak the truth. That will empower your children to continue to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you are God. We bless you for a judgment. We start from within the house of God, a purging out of every children foundation, everything that is not of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your righteous judgment concerning the church of God will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Santa Hobo Shedda, we hold back every road of affliction coming against the family unit in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the marriage is a union between a man and a woman. Jehovah God, as we have received, Lord God, the doctrine. For our, children, for our parents, we pass it on to our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will marry male to female in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will, they will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have their own children, reproduce, multiply, conquer and replenish this earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will strong pillars within your house, watch towers in our nations. Moving forward, the things of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God that you have separated us from everything evil in the name of Jesus Christ. You have sent forth your word today to heal us, to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. You are touching the sick wherever they are today. Father Lord, you are giving strength to dying bones, flushing away from our blood, every evil deposit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, we thank you that your righteous judgment concerning us and our families will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We bless you this day for breakthrough in medical science. Thank you for what you are doing in our midst. Breakthrough in the research institutes, in the pharmaceutical companies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God Almighty, that your hands are outstretched. Oh, Rehim is Oh, one the places where our food is processed, Lord God. We are water. It's being bottled by the power of the living God. You are putting every poisonous substances that people are putting in our food that causing affliction amongst your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you today. You share the foundation of evil in our communities, in our government, and the body of Christ that all evil will prevail against your spoken word, your promises towards your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord God Almighty, we thank you that our families have been strengthened by you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you that your children and our government will stand on righteous ground to uphold the truth and administer justice in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's a power that gives salvation to men. To those perishing, it is foolishness unto them. Your children will come to march forward against every force or attempt to come against the nations of the world. They will speak as your oracles. They will uphold the truth in everything. They will lift up the banner of Jesus Christ, your love over us, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will do the impossible. They trample upon everything, stand the strange altars in our government have been pulled down by your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Your spirit is going to reveal to them the times and seasons that we are in, that they will come together as children of one God, united to one purpose, to do good works. But your spirit upon us is the spirit of goodness and mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of love, in the name of Jesus Christ. The, good, the spirit of kindness, of fruitfulness in every good works. The spirit of peace and joy, in the name of Jesus Christ. For you have given us peace and joy upon the service of the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have given us fruitfulness upon the service of the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have given us patience, Lord God, that we can be long suffering towards our brothers and sisters, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you have shown us mercy, that we can show those around us mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. We uproot, Lord God, his children wickedness in our, in our judiciary, in the law enforcement, in the various arms of the law enforcement, in the name of
Lord Jesus Christ. We shake them, Father Lord, any such interest group attempting to take over the nations of the world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We present to you today the president of nations, Lord God. Those walking with the kingdom of darkness against their own people, against nations, Lord Lord. We shake them their foundation by the power of the living God. Father, they will not prevail against your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, give your children inner strength to press back against every evil and tend to come from the ocean from any angle against your children, Jehovah God. For the four winds belong to you, Jehovah God, hold the four winds, overturn every plan of the enemy, send far the wind, send the, back the wind of devastation upon the earth of those sending it to your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Send for the wind of life, of progress, of good success, oh God Almighty, bringing peace and every reason to rejoice, bringing fruitfulness in every good works, prosperity to us, prosperity to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that the nations are going to move forward in Jesus' mighty name. Evil shall not prevail against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you, for you are the Lord of the harvest. Send forth the laborers, Father Lord, into harvest, the harvest seed in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for a huge harvest of souls in this time of persecution in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that your children will not renounce all of God their faith in you. Oh God Almighty, they will not be fearful to gather together. They will not be afraid, Lord God, to read and to study your word and to teach and to proclaim this gospel with power in the name of Jesus Christ. This world is going forth with power under the uttermost ends of the world. We have more souls will be brought into your kingdom. This world, Lord God, is judging the wicked today in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is coming against every kingdom of darkness. But I'm Lord, he will send You will be exalted in the nations. You will be exalted in our families. You will be exalted in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. For those being persecuted, Father Lord, we thank you that they are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they will inherit your kingdom. You have spoken your promises over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn uh, around, turn captivity uh, around in the name of Jesus Christ and deliver your children from their captures in the name of Jesus Christ. As you did in the life of Paul and Silas, but our Lord, they came out of God from the prison, but our Lord, and they sing it, but our Lord, rejoicing, but our Lord, they were found in the market square. Jehovah God opened those prisons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and the children will call out in the name of Jesus Christ that will begin to preach this gospel in the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray for the nations, begin to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That no evil will prevail against the nations of the world. Those Father Lord persecuted in the church as you did to the Apostle Paul, who was so do to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not a respecter of man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You use the same standard of judgment. Jehovah God, turn their hearts around. Let them suffer much for this gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be the ones to take this gospel to their own people, those who belong to their own camp in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them begin to testify about their faithfulness. Let the people see a turn around in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. You stand, you stand, you stand, you stand to bring souls into your kingdom. You stand to renounce every evil they have done against your kingdom. You stand to suffer much for your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. You stand, oh God Almighty, make a name in the name of Jesus Christ. You stand, you stand, that the things that used to work for them in the past will no longer work in the name of Jesus Christ. You stand until they surrender to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. That the anger of government will not come against the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father, we thank you for our sliders returning back to the house of God and assuming their rightful position within the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ, using their talent to bless the kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you for multitude of souls coming into the church. The doors of the church are open wide to the nations. Your house is an house of prayer, a house of deliverance for all nations. All nations will come in, they will receive all oh God of my deliverance. Their souls will be saved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will walk with you, for you have given them a measure of faith each to walk with you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for churches that will do the right work, in the right things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that will send us liberals into the world, that will support missions in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you, God Almighty, that your house is not a den of robbers. We overturn every table of money changers, Lord God. We overturn every buying and selling within the house of God, contrary to the will of God. We come against those false prophets and teachers that are out there after their own bellies. Jehovah God, we trample upon their evil devices. We come against those Father Lord, oh, Father Lord, introducing our children within the house of God into all forms of depravity in the name of Jesus Christ. Those introducing them to homosexuality 
giving them evil. Father, Lord, we take the eyes of God. We hold back their hands. Those intending children to run from their families to rape it against their parents in the name of Jesus Christ. Those causing confusion in families. Father, we hold back their hands, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those coming against a lot of the fellowship, Father, Lord, that are us against their, their, their pastors, Father, Lord, causing confusion in the church. We hold back their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your peace that surpasses my understanding in our midst, Lord God, that we be united in one spirit. For you bestow the blessings upon us when we are united. We pray that the church will going to speak in one voice. We pray that our spiritual fathers and mothers will search your word, study your word, Father Lord, and look up to you that every wisdom will direct everything they do in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they will teach Father Lord their congregation how to have the fear of you in their hearts, how to choose the fear of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, how to follow you in Jesus' mighty name, how to be obedient to all of your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you for what you do through the church. We thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders being done in the house of God. We thank you for the elders lifting up the anointing oil and praying the prayer of faith over the sick in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the sick are receiving oh God, oh Father, Lord, healing in Jesus' mighty name. Wholeness in spirit, mind, and soul, and body in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, God Almighty, that the council of ministers are united in one voice in Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you that the church, Lord God, cannot be divided against itself, that we are different parts of one body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, oh Lord God, for the ministry of your Holy Spirit directing us, leading us, and instructing us, revealing the things of God to us in this time, rebuking us and revealing to us those things we are doing contrary to the will of God. For you discipline the children you love. Discipline us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's not about self-righteousness. We offer ourselves before you this day. Have your way in our lives, Lord God. Let your righteous judgment prevail. Oh God, on him a send half a shelter in the house of God. We invite you, Holy Spirit, we invite you, we welcome you, we welcome your presence in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have pause to worship God in spirit and truth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let no mind spirit that are in the cause of the church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because of the affairs of the church, we overturn every lying spirit. We come against all types erected within the house of God, contrary to the will of God. We press back against forces of darkness. We press on to your eye calling in us in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. As building blocks, we have come together to build one another up in our most holy face. We contend for our faith in everything within us in the name of Jesus Christ. In times of persecution, we can't enjoy when we pass through diverse temptations. Father Lord, knowing that the trial of our faith produces endurance. For endurance must finish its work in us to make us perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Oh God Almighty. So we are rejoicing today, even in persecution. We are rejoicing in the times and seasons that we are in because we know that we are being tried in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that we must be patient and we pass through trial, continuing to do the works you have called us to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That in the end, we receive the crown of glory that you have, you have, you have promised your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you today. Who can stand against us when you are with us? You have given us inner strength to prevail in every good works. You are restoring to us the things that belongs to us. We do not lack any spiritual gifts, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have equipped the church for a time like this, with everything we need, oh Lord God, don't prevail against every attack. Brought with him and send the our shelter in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the spirit of the living God. We do not know to pray. We do not know what we ought to pray about. We do not know the type of spiritual accusation and wickedness the enemy have brought against us. But you have seen them. You saw them before they gathered. You have uprooted them in the name of Jesus Christ. You have confused them in the name of Jesus Christ. You have turned back their weapon upon their heads in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Like the shaft, they are ready. Go, 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 go. The wind is blowing them and battling in the name of Jesus Christ. They perish because they refuse to repent from their evil ways in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have set the edge of fire around the children of God in the name of Jesus Christ to protect us from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. That the will of God concerning us will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. You have sent fortitude, everything we need to us. You have entered a standing God to lift us up in their hands that our feet will not, will not strike against a stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Jehovah God, your word says, if the financial is broke or shaken, what can the righteous do? But if the financial cannot be shaken, it will never be broken by any force, Father Lord. You are the one that has the power to change both the heavens and the earth. Change the funding foundation today in the name of Jesus Christ. Change the funding foundation today in the name of Jesus Christ. That everyone that does not belong to your kingdom, what I know will be separated from your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Read the heaven, center, have a shinder. That is what we go forward in Jesus' mighty name. Father, at this time, we bless you, God Almighty, as we commit unto your hands the ministry in our families, for you have called each of us unto the ministry of reconciliation. No one can say that you do not know. We know, because the word has already come forth. The witness has already come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh 
God Almighty. You have called us to a ministry of reconciliation. Father, may we continue to reconcile people to you, appealing with your spirit well, to all of humanity, beginning from our families, be reconciled back to God. Turn back to God. Turn back to God. Turn back to God. This is the hands of God are stretched towards you this morning. Turn back to God. God who has blessed you and given you everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Giving you everything. Giving you the power of Jesus Christ. The authority of Jesus Christ. Turn back to God. God who uses sin and makes a new people. Turn back to God. Or in your sin, God will make you a new person. Come and God be sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent. Come to God. Receive the embrace of God this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive God's plan for the salvation of mankind. Already he will send that in his son and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died for us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Come to God today that you might live in the name of Jesus Christ. That you may not die in your sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Come to God. Do not be ashamed because of your sin. Do not run away. Do not go to the God of this world to receive power, to receive salvation. It will lead you nowhere but to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. The God of this world will blind your eyes. Come to God. Come to God that you may see in the name of Jesus Christ. That you may hear in the name of Jesus Christ. That you may continue to prosper in good works in the name of Jesus Christ. To attain to the full image that God wants us for us to attain to. Like the image of our God. That he is in there, walking in his power, in his mind, upon the surface of the earth, taking control and restoring this nation back to the nations, back to Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, we give you a clap offering for what you do to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father Lord, that our husbands are priests in our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Our brothers and our sons are priests in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that our children, the wives to your, to your sons, Lord God, and our daughters, Lord God, and sisters, are people binds within their homes in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are doing good works in our communities and our families in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that our children are only shoes on their father's tables in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you that our children have not brought sorrow to us. They have strengthened us. They have given us inner strength to prevail in every situation. Father, the enemy cannot for the entrance into our homes, we contend with them in the city there, we trample upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are composed around our homes with your holy presence. All of our wives must continue to be united in holy matrimony and in ministry work. We come against Father Lord, every attempt, every evil cancer causing confusion in marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. We overturn every strange voice swinging into marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. We silence every decree from the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We overturn everything that causes confusion and separation between us and our wives in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the food of adultery, fornication, and incest. We come against Father Lord, such as sins in the family, in the communities, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against Father Lord, evil arrows shot against marriages in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we thank you that us and our wives will be united in the name of Jesus Christ. United in the name of Jesus Christ in ministry work and in their marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you for the good works you do through them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the relationship between siblings will be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. That no evil will speak into the relationship between siblings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We silence every evil voice, every evil decree, every altar erected to cause confusion in families in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, prevail in our families. For the enemy knows that when we are united, you bestow the blessing. That when we are united, nobody can come into our camps in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, with everything within us, we must be united. Oh God Almighty, he be united as children of one parents, as children of one parents, as children of one God, pushing back every plan of the enemy to cause confusion in our camps in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you this day. Father, thank you for everything you have done for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We lack nothing good. You have anointed our heads with oil today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, our cups are overflowing. You have set tables for us in the presence of our enemies. You have planted us by the riverside. Oh God Almighty, we are planted by you. Nobody can approach us. At least I am agree in the name of Jesus Christ. We produce our fruit in our seasons in the name of Jesus Christ. We prosper in everything we lay our hands to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord God Almighty, this morning, we commit unto your hands, Lord God Almighty, your children looking up to you for the blessing of the womb. Give an inheritance from you. The blessing of the womb is a reward. Bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any altar erected against them, any pronouncement from the pit of hell against them. Oh God Almighty, presenting conception in the families, we renounce, we overturn, we pull down by the power of the living God. Jehovah God, bless the wombs of the daughters to carry pregnancy, to food them. We come against miscarriage, abortion, affliction against the born baby in the mother's womb. We hold back 
every rod of affliction. We renounce every word spoken contrary to your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, touch the husband. Oh God Almighty, that they may be able to pray, 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 impregnate their wives in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of lost and come any other heredity against the husband. Every evil pronouncement we renounce in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you at the point of delivering. Be there to help your daughters to bring forth their babies into this world. We come against death and child birth. We renounce every cause, everything tied. Oh, it must be a listen by the power of the living God. Everything dark on the ground, the ground. Father, Lord, in which the names of our mothers and their children have been called, has been renounced by the power of the living God. Anything buried underneath the ocean bed, in which the names of our mothers and their children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, as many generations you have given to them, we have called in the name of Israel. We renounce by the power of the living God. God prevail. Oh, God Almighty, hold back the hands of the enemy. Let them know that you are God, that you are God, you are God. You move mightily in the midst of the children. They will know that you are God who delivers. Glory be to God. You are God who helps us. Glory be to God. You are God who reheals them. You have a reason because of first name, your enemies are scattering. The enemies of the children are scattering. Every word spoken against our fathers, against our mothers, have been renounced by God, your God Almighty, as you speak today as the oracle of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. We silence every other oracle speaking from any cause according to the will of God. We do not recognize your voice. We have no portion with you. We curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. You who have taken the name of members of your families and communities to the strange oracles. You who have placed items from your families on strange altars. We come against you. The fire of God descended upon your death, death bringing you down in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your evil returning upon your head. You must repent. You must repent or you die by your own evil in the name of Jesus Christ. You must repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ or you die by your own evil in the name of Jesus Christ. This quest and spirit and life they are going to you. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know the spirit of unrest is upon you. You cannot hide in the name of Jesus Christ. Now redeem us and our life we despite your darkness. Oh God Almighty, glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for children that we dedicated to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for the good works you are doing in our midst of God. Within the family, we silence the voice of strong men and women, every opposition against the will of God, every attempt to bring down your children, every attempt to change the passions of your children, every attempt to trade. Father Lord, that will belong to your children, we overturn. Nobody can truncate the destinies of our children. They have been blessed by you, by the nation you have called them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be a position of leadership in our nations, Lord God. They will acquire the skills and education they need to become responsible citizens of our nations. Oh God Almighty, they will be in the end of our faith, Lord God, in our nations, taking over from their parents. They will do good works. They will invent things for humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children will fall in every profession, every profession that will give you pleasure in the name of Jesus Christ. Those using our children in central and child level, we lift up a standard against you. We frustrate you. We send the wind of devastation upon you. We pull you down. We pull down your struggle. We release the children by the power of the living God. They are coming back to their communities where they rightly belong in the name of Jesus Christ. May they rightfully belong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, Jehovah God, we lift up a standard against those bringing drugs into our communities. Those are not bringing pornography into our schools. Every form of depravity, we overturn by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we lift up a standard against those who recruit our children in gang and terrorist sites. They will not be used for evil purposes. Our children are separated from everything evil in Jesus' mighty name. Our Lord God Almighty, we bless you for the spirit of self discipline upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that's your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not go out and begin to tear down things, begin to cause confusion because we oppose anybody in government. Jehovah God will be disciplined in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we pray that when your children attempt to go out on any kind of procession or protest, Father Lord, this week, that they will be peaceful. That nobody will blood with, uh, nobody allow their blood to be shed on the streets in the name of Jesus Christ. Thy parents speak to their children. We pray for peace, for peace, for peace. The peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We thank you for everything you do in us and through us as we come into your hands in the nation of Israel. God, he may send the send the Let your judgment concerning the righteous judgment concerning Israel prevail in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. As we pray for Israel, the nations of the world will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Check down. Father, Lord, every word spoken against Israel contrary to your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail. God Almighty, let peace prevail in the nations of the world in Jesus' mighty name. We present to you today our means of transportation and communication. Father, we have just heard of a, a plane crash this morning. Glory be to God. 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 Touch the family this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we pray. As we travel by air, by land, by sea, by the waterways, as we travel in our own vehicles, in our own vehicles, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we go in trains and buses, over tunnels, on any tunnels, over bridges, Father, keep us safe in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, that the hands of the enemy are telling you to come against a miss of transportation and communication. Help us, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Preserve our souls in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against evil arrows, evil pronouncement against communication and a miss of communication and transportation. Father, preserve our souls and help us. You are our God. We surrender to you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, when your children gather together in their marketplaces, we come against an evil spirit that make anyone to drive a truck into a gathering of people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it happened, Father Lord, in Germany recently. It has been happening in Nigeria. It has been happening long, long ago. But now we know, Father Lord, that it is evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, that it was not just an accident. Oh, oh Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, not just a failure of the break, Father Lord, but it is intentional. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we come against that evil by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, protect our children in their marketplaces, protect them in the airports, in the street corners, wherever they go. Let your presence all over be fed wherever your children are in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this wisdom direct us and lead us on a path that is different from the path that the evil forces of darkness walk through in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you. You are our God. We thank you. Glory be to your name. Thank you, God Almighty. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Thank you for breakthrough in medical science. Thank you for talking the, touching the hands of the doctors and nurses taking care of us. Thank you, Jehovah God, as they work for you. Father Lord, you come to refresh them and bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect them from the evil forces of darkness in their profession. Those working for Satan, protect your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them wisdom. Give them wisdom. Echo pass around them with holy fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect your children in our schools, universities, and universities and universities, uh, universities and colleges working for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those working for Satan, let them be exposed. Let them be disgraced. Let them, Father Lord, fall by the hands of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect your children in our government working for you. In the various departments of government working for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In our law enforcement working for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect them from the evil forces of darkness that are penetrated through the law enforcement, through the various departments of government in the name of Jesus Christ. Expose them. Let them find a way to hide. Oh, let the fire of the Spirit descend upon their tent in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you this day. We give you a clap of praise for what you have done for us. Thank you for restoring to us and our families the things that belong to us. You are our God and helper in the name of Jesus Christ. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. Speak to our spirit, soul, and mind. Speak to our soul, our bodies, every organ of our bodies today. Speak to our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For you are the strength of our heart in Jesus' mighty name. Renew our minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to all our internal organs today. That they may receive life, life, life in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God of my speak to our blood today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our memories. Speak to us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our intellect today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our minds in Jesus' mighty name. Speak to us. Speak to us. On our footsteps today, that the world will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we speak as your oracles, wherever you lead us today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our hands. You talk to Moses. What is that in your hand? What is that in our hands today? May we begin to use the thing in our hands to do good works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your commanding the blessings upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we not be slack about our calling. May we not become lukewarm. May we not compromise with the world. May our love not grow deep in Jesus mighty name. May we not be like Father, the, full, the five foolish virgins, O Lord God, that went to get oil from their lamp, O Lord God, when the bridegroom came. Father Lord, may our lamp, O Lord God, be ready. May our lamp be ready. May it be trim and may it be oil in the name of Jesus Christ. That when you appear, when you say go, we know it's time to move in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are refreshed us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything you have done for us. As I come before you today, we deceive ourselves, Father Lord, we do not acknowledge that we are sinners, that we have sinned against you so many ways. Father Lord, none is righteous. No, not any. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our righteousness is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. If we must boast, we boast in Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. For he redeemed us by his blood. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, he brought us up from the kingdom of darkness and brought us into your marvelous light. Kingdom of light in the name of Jesus Christ. That we are your light and your salt in this world today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, he sanctified us. Oh Lord God Almighty, he made us all of us only unto you.
you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's our righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You don't take account of our sinful nation. Madam God, you have blotted out our sins by the blood of Jesus. Today, we plead that blood upon us, our families, our nations, the body of Christ, upon us, upon our children, upon our husbands, upon the wives, upon our fathers, our sons, our brothers and sisters, you know where they are, upon their extended families, in the name of Jesus Christ. We repent of our sins. We are sinning against you in so many ways. Glory be to God. We have shed human blood in the name of, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that the, 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 the blood of a human, that the life of a person is in the blood. Jehovah God, through the precious means of God, for people have been done in our communities. We ask for forgiveness. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Let that blood begin to speak for us. Better things, better than the blood of Abel today in Jesus' mighty name. As you have forgiven us, we forgive all that have sinned against us. We nail everything in us. The spirit of Cain, Henry, jealousy, Miley, bitterness, the spirit of witchcraft. Oh, blah, 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 blah. To the God, bow of this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebel of spirits that make you to stand against the will of God, had in heart. Oh, bow to our God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, bow today in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Have your way, oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. We release everyone that will fail us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have shown us mercy. We show mercy to everyone. We release everyone today in Jesus' mighty name. We release nations today in accordance to your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be uh, God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today in Jesus' mighty name. He is our God. He will never fail us. I thank you for calling in this morning, my dear brother uh, Ayoba Min okay, the Rum, and my dear sister Kelly Odreyo Daibo, and my darling sister Jackie Amasiki. Thank you all for calling in this morning. God bless you and your families. We have come before our God today, united in one spirit in Christ. God has heard us ears and said our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil shall be before us and our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will be as God said it will be in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The church will continue to move forward. Father, in accordance to the will of our God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I wanted to sing a song this morning. I will just sing one verse of that song. I hope I, I'm still... Uh, I think I've, <laughs> the, the page is no longer open. <laughs> The song is I Need It Every Hour. I think while I was praying, I just went over the page. It's no longer open right before me. Okay. I think I can sing one of the verses. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No, to tender voices down. Can peace afford? I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee, oh, bless us now, Savior, we come to thee. Amen. We need God every time. I cannot remember the page. I cannot see it right now, but the one we have sang is enough. We pray that God, we are a prayer that we need him every time, every moment. There's so much evil outside there. God has not given us the spirit of fear. We must choose to fear God, but not to fear man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fear of God is pure. Amen. It gives us wisdom. It gives us life. So we reject the fear of the world. We overturn every evil pronouncement that God will give us strength. That even in a time like this, that we still have the peace of God. That no tender love can we receive anywhere than the peace of God spoken into our lives. The assurance that God is with us, that God is for us. Glory be to God in all of our situations. I want to encourage those born in the death of loved ones today. Know that God is with you. Be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God send comfort to all of us, remembering our loved ones that have passed on to eternal rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we remember the good works they did while they were here. The things they, 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 they did, amen, the life, the legacy they left behind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we continue to walk on that path that God has laid for us to make our parents proud 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for his faithfulness to us. We bless him that is our God in the name of Jesus. We have the peace of God in us today. That peace that surpasses human understanding. It may be raging outside, mighty storm, but the peace of God will still the storm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God tells us that the voice of God is mightier than the many waters of the ocean. Amen. Out of that deep, God called forth miracles, called forth life to us, created this beautiful world that we see today. Glory be to God. The Spirit of God is sitting over, over the waters, over the nations. Amen. Around us and dwelling inside of us, helping us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who can come against us? God is for us. From our youth, they plowed on our backs, they made a follow us long. They plowed, but they did not prevail against us. Glory be to God. For the word of God says, For they that trust in the Lord shall be that Mount Zion, which can never be shaken, never be moved. That as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, that's the way God surrounds the Syria, even now and forevermore. That the scepter of the wicked cannot be laid on the land that God has given to the righteous. That at least the righteous will put forth their hands unto iniquity. That God will do good to those that are righteous, but those that walk uh, in crooked paths, God will lead them along with the workers of iniquity. And you know what that is? It is judgment of God upon their lives. They will perish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For when we look up to the mountain, that where does our help come from? Our help comes from God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. If we never sleep, he does not slumber, he does not sleep, he does not sleep. He will not forget us that we are is here in this world. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He is our God. And today we are inviting him into our lives, into the lives of everything that relates to us, our families, into the lives of our husbands. By association, our husbands must know God, accept God, and be the children of God. Our children, we know God. Amen. God promised us that when we are saved, that we and our entire household are saved. Our nations, we know God. We must continue to pray for the nations. God said, ask of me of the nations and I'll give it to you. Glory be to God. God who has spoken is not a man that will rely on the Son of Man that will repent. He has said it and he has accomplished. He has done it already. He has commanded the blessing. The word of God is a, is a command to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we trust God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what happens when we cannot trust God? We are double-minded. God cannot do anything with anyone that is double-minded. Some people come to God and yet they go to strange oracles. They have assumed higher positions in between the hands of God. Deaconess, evangelists, pastors, and later they go to secret courts. Amen. To bow down before idols, before evil, before signs. What do they say about that? Glory be to God. For we are the children of God. God knows. Glory be to God. And God will never fail us in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, I'm going to read my passage. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 9, beginning from verses 1, verses 1 to 7 this morning. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God's covenant with Noah. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fear the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall upon all the beasts of the earth and all the beasts of the air, upon every creature that moves along the ground and upon all the fish of the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves will be food for you, just as I gave you the green plants and I give you everything. But you must not eat meat that has its life blood in it. And for your life blood, I will surely demand an accounting. I will demand an accounting from every animal and from each man too. I will demand an accounting for the life of his fellow man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made man. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number, multiply on the earth. And increase upon it. Glory be to God. The will of God for us is to be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. Amen. God gave everything to Adam, to, to Noah. Glory be to God. To Noah. Everything he created, everything that he came out from the ark, that I've given you everything. He has not held back anything from us. For God is going to hold us accountable for what we do with human life. Amen. What we do with human life. So we must be careful. Amen. Today, as we are alive, we must ask God for forgiveness for those things we did in ignorance. Now that we have read it from the word of God, that is going to hold us, that we are giving an accounting of human blood, that no man 
to shed human blood. That the life of a person is in the blood. Glory be to God. We can eat of everything he has given to us. But do not kill your brother. Do not kill your sister. You cannot eat them. Amen. Do not do that. Amen. Glory be to God. That the fear of Noah, that the things created, they will, they will become fearful of Noah. Because God has given him power over everything. God wants him to be fruitful. He wants him to increase in number and fill the earth. It's the same promise for us today. Be fruitful, increase in number, and fill the earth. It will never change. And the only way we can be fruitful, increase in number, and fill the earth, and take control of the things created, is when we marry made to female. Amen. And we produce in, according to our own kind. Children made in the image and likeness of God. And that's why God loves us so much. Because he knows what he, he has put in us. Amen. That the spirit is in us. Glory be to God. So why should we attempt to kill the spirit of God in a man? Amen. By shedding human blood. Let us think about it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless God today that upon the surface of the earth that man can do many things. Man has gone to the moon. Amen. Man has gone to so many places. Created so many inventions, things of humanity. Man has, man has built skyscraper that was attempting to ascend into heaven. Ascend into heaven. Ascend into heaven. Amen. But God stopped man. He saw that man. He said, if I do not stop this man, what else will they do? Man has gone underneath the ocean beds to do great works for humanity. So why do you doubt God? That God created this world. That is the source of all knowledge, the source, of, the source of all wisdom. Why do you make God out to be a liar when God said, I have forgiven you all of your sins? That I have sent a Savior to you through my Son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That I have seen a man that the natural inclination of his heart is to, to is evil all the time, to do evil deeds. There's nothing good about man in flesh and blood. But yet I love man because I created him. I'm sending a Savior to man to save him from that frailty of his flesh. Why do you make man, God to be a liar? Why do you want to believe that you are still a sinner? Why do you want to believe that you have absolute control over your life? That you are a God unto yourself? You do not care about God. You do whatever you want to do. You take judgments. Someone offends you. You go. You want to kill them. You, you refuse to forgive them. Because you have seen yourself as a God unto yourself. But there is a God. Amen. Our God. The creator of the heavens and the earth. We must bow down to him. We must acknowledge him. We must thank him. We must enjoy his goodness upon the surface of the earth. For us to be able to carry out his mandate upon the earth. For him to use our sinners in a mighty way. We must come to him. See his hands outstretched towards us. Let us glorify God today for all that he has given to us. Bless him for his covenant with Noah. Thank him that we never destroy this earth with flood waters again because of our sins. Bless him that he has given us a savior. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glorify God whose hands are outstretched towards us today. In Jesus mighty name. Magnify his holy name. In your life, in your family, in your nations, in the body of Christ. Bow down before God. Bless him for being our God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have worship. Glory, hallelujah, amen. God bless you for the day. Glory be to God. Enjoy this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen.